Hey y'all, Trevor here with Ride a Leaf, and today we're going to be smoking our way through some of Tabletop's grilled cheese. Now, this is another ounce that uh, I picked up and decided to uh, split with some of my co-workers this time. So, instead of the full 28 grams, I've just got 7 here. Still, with the bud quality and aroma that I got when we cracked open this bag to split up the ounce, I'm impressed and I'm looking forward to seeing how Tabletop's grilled cheese is going to smoke. But, without any further ado you guys let's go ahead get our intro in here and get this review up and rocking welcome back you guys and like i said in the intro today we're going to be smoking on some grilled cheese from the folks over at tabletop i'm really excited to see how this overall experience and uh smoke is going to come off of this strain now with that being said i did mention this in the intro i ended up splitting this ounce four ways with uh, some of my co-workers just to justify the cost a little bit better and uh if i can do that to help get more one hitter ounce based reviews out here for you guys it'd definitely be a good way for me to go about doing that but with that being said we're going to quickly walk you guys through what to expect over the next roughly half hour worth of smoking and a cannabis based content and how this review is going to uh, be broken up into sections. Now with that being said, let's not wait any further and get to it. First things first, we cover the information that is on this 28 gram bag here. It'll start out with our THC total, CBD total, the package date, price point, and uh, as well as some additional terpene based information that Tabletop shares with us on each of their bags. Then. From there, we'll go over to the actual tabletop website. This producer provides a very well descriptive and uh, well laid out informative base for uh, you to go and find on their website. So utilizing their actual website will provide uh, some of the information that uh, can help give us an idea of what to expect with this gr grilled cheese strain. Now, if I can't find the website, I typically go over to the albertacannabis.org or the Ontario Cannabis Store website, but today, that is not required. Then, we uh, get into the meat and potatoes of this review because the Herbage Scale intro slides in. Then we start looking at our buds. So, the initial uh, pass and impression will give us a score out of 10 for the look and aroma. We do bust up the nugs to see what the uh, aromatic variance is from bud to busted form and sometimes it earns points sometimes it loses points you never know until you get th really through taking a, a deep dive into how the bud looks and how it smells when we have it busted up from there we go into our first way of consuming this cannabis and that's going to be via our boundless cfc vaporizer right here we run it at three different temperatures i do go over the details of each of those temperatures while we're rolling up our joint um, that gets smoked at the last section of uh, this one hitter weed review. But with that being said, you guys, Boundless CFC Vaporizer, three unique temperatures where we bake our bud and not burn it. Then, to start burning our bud, we go into our bongs. Definitely my preferred way of consuming cannabis. I'm a bong hit dude all day long. The rich, heavy flavors that it can present is definitely my preferred way to enjoy this glorious plant. Hemp wick, Clipper lighter, jet lighter, I go over the details and the bongs that they correlate with when we get to that side of the review. Before we finish things up, we take our Regal Cigar right here and our Elements Papers. Those are the two classic or uh, traditional or even just most common consumption methods and that is via the pipe and via the joint. Personally, for any store-bought cannabis, I like to use my Elements Papers for any home grow, raw, or OCB hemp based papers are definitely uh, my preferred smoking uh, tool. Now, with that being said, we finish things off talking about the high before we get into our overall out of 60. Each of the components have a total of 10 possible points to be earned, 60 being the overall, 48 is the number that we're aiming to hit. That earns a beautiful herbage score and uh, that maintains an average of eight through each of the six categories. Now, with that being said, Let's not wait any longer, you guys, and get right into this review since you know exactly what's coming. So, we've got our grilled cheese indica-based ounce from the folks over at Tabletop. It came in with a THC total of 17.3%, so a little bit on the lighter side in comparison to what their garlic breath, their um, 
what's the other one that they have? They got a couple of really good strains that we've got in. Their Grease Monkey, the Sticky Buns, all of those came in with a little bit of a higher THC range. But I, I've i had cheesy base strains on the lower side that still smoke quite well. So I'm up for however the strain is going to take me. 17.3 for the THC, CBD 0.07. We got a uh, total terpene percentage of 1.71 with beta carophylline, lemonine, and farsenine being our primary source. And the 11th of July being our package date. Really, really fresh bud on that scent, you guys. I'm absolutely pumped to uh, see what this cheesy-based experience is going to be. Now, we have the tabletop website pulled up here. Let's go ahead, cover the information they provide here before we uh, start smoking this bud. This strain has so much cheese oozing out of it, you might want to lick your plate. Cheesy flavors, cheesy lineage, cheesy name, cheesy jokes. The cheese never ends. The best part is you don't have to like cheese to get into it. With this grilled cheese on the table, even the biggest lactose haters will be coming back for more. The flavor is going to be cheesy, sour, and floral. We have a lineage of cheesequake crossed with a Gupta Kush. We have a THC range of 17 to 20%. A format is a 28 gram bag. It is an indica dominant experience with carefulene, linalol, and lemonine being the primary terpenes that they have described on the website. Now, linalol didn't make as big of a uh, presence with this edition of the uh, strain, but all the same, I'm really excited to see how this grilled cheese is going to smoke, you guys. So, without any further ado, Herbage Scale intro. Let's bust this uh, butt up, give it a score for the look and aroma, and start smoking it through the vape. Welcome back, you guys. So, let's go ahead, open up our bag. A really rich, cheesy experience that comes off of these buds. Like, there is no exaggeration there with uh, the kind of cheesy tone and aroma that comes off it. It does have a little bit more of a sour note to it as well that leaves you a little bit of... Uh, Leaves you kind of wondering with what exactly it is that's kind of souring up that cheesy aroma. But the seven grams that we got here looks really good. The the cure on it is really nice. The trim, however, isn't 100% where I would like it to be. I'll give you guys a look in just a second. As you guys can see here, we've got some fan leaves that are still attached a little bit on the side there that one's more sugar leaf but still you got a little bit of stems on there like the trim could be improved on but the size of the nugs the quality of these nugs themselves really good crystal really good pistol throughout but again those fan leaves i personally would like to uh get rid of those but for the price point that you're paying at 99 dollars for the ounce for a fresh sticky bud because it's sticky once you break into the nugs it's looking really well hey guys so before we busted this bud up i was leaning closer to that seven it just doesn't have the aroma to really have me that excited or that pumped to try the strain out now when we crack this uh busted up rendition of the grilled cheese we'll see what pushes through there Definitely a richer tone, a fresh bud in there. You get a little bit of a sweeter kind of fruity blend as well. But there's still kind of a rich, creamy, cheesy experience um, to top it off. All in all, it's quite enjoyable, but I wouldn't say it's exciting. I, I don't want to give it an 8, you guys. And it's more so a want to than a need to. I don't want to give it an eight. I want to give it a seven because that's definitely what the uh, look and aroma is providing for me at the very least. Enjoyable, good quality, but not exciting. Now, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead, pull out our elements paper here, roll up our joint while I walk you through the three temperatures that we'll be smoking our boundless CFC vaporizer at. 
The initial temperature will be 175 degrees Celsius. All of these temperatures will be in Celsius. 175 degrees Celsius is going to provide us with the lemonine and marisonine dominant terpene experiences of this bud. Now, marisonine and lemonine are typically going to uh, work in conjunction to provide a very lemon wood, lemongrass, citronella plant type of an experience, but on their own, they um, provide components to each of that. The lemonine, like its name, is going to be a little bit more citric, it's going to be a little bit more lemon based. It is going to be a acidic approach to uh, the citrus based flavor. It's going to be sharp. It can contribute into kind of a gassy, diesely experience as well. Now, with that being said, the caref not carefully, but the marisonine has a wider array of flavors that uh, you can find and experience with that one. It is also one of the most widely found terpenes in cannabis. So. You can start it off with a very hoppy beer type of, ex of type of an experience. Oh, I stuttered there for a second. A very hoppy beer type of experience, or it can swing all the way to the other side to a sweet, ripe, juicy mango. Typically, you're going to find it rocking somewhere in the middle, where you're getting a little bit more of a damp, vegetative, green experience, almost like walking through the bush after it rained the night before. That's the best way that I've come across describing marisonine. Now, from there, we move up to 205. 205 is going to provide us a very rich and hearty flavor, and I'm expecting the cheese to make a dominant performance at the uh, 205 in this review. Now, with that being said, 205 has the majority of the other terpenes boiling off, so you tend to get the richest, creamiest, heaviest, and uh, most intense options that uh, that strain has to offer when it comes to our vaporizer, or at least the boundless vaporizer. 205 gives you creamy, cheesy, berry, cushy, earthy, woody, chocolatey, any rich, hearty tones, 205 you can find it. 220, that's where we're gonna have beta carefully and THC boil off at their highest rate, so you're gonna have a peppered and wooded blend for the flavor and you're going to have a high rate of THC, the stuff that helps get you high, boiling off as well. Now, I have this set to 175 degrees. As you can see, it's climbing up right now and once it hits that marker, we'll see the little teacup right beside the temperature pop up. I do like to give it some extra time to penetrate throughout the oven that's in here because again, we're baking, not burning. We're looking to boil off the terpenes instead of burn off the terpenes. That being said, the heat should be penetrating plenty through. Let's see what 175 lemonine and marisine have to offer. It definitely leans more on the sour side. I'm getting a light kind of lemon tea flavor. It definitely leans more onto the herbal, floral, green tea kind of an approach. But you can't forget a sweet cream type of an experience and flavor to follow up. I definitely think that with an increasing of the temperature and the removal of the marisonine and lemonine dominance, this cheesy, not cheesy quite, but creamed flavor is going to get sour and rich on us real quick. It's nice. It's enjoyable. It's nice. It's smooth. Um, and I'm curious to see how dense it's going to get at the 205 because I was getting hints of that kind of light creamy flavor, but you add the ability for the rest of the terpenes to really build a good body on it and the rich, hearty, cheesy flavor could be present. I got it set to 205 now. Let's see what it offers. Ah, there it is. You know what? It's a wood. It's a very light wooded flavor that comes in and almost matches. And sh You know what? It doesn't match. It shadows that initial flavor that we got the 175. You still get that kind of sweet, cheesy, not sweet, cheesy, sweet, creamy experience. And then right behind it, following right behind it is this kind of 
light wooded experience, light wooded tone that presents itself really nicely in conjunction with uh, the flavors of the 205 here, you guys. And when they work together, you definitely get a kind of cheesy experience. Now, 220 is where we're going to finish things off before we go ahead and take our rips through the bong. I'm looking forward to seeing how the flower is going to taste through our uh, Envy Straight Pipe Nice Glass Beaker Bong and Red Eye Tech. But first, 220 is what we have to smoke. The teacup's there. Let's see what the experience is here. I'm expecting wood and a little bit of pepper at the end. Wow, it definitely went more wooded than I expected. I'm not getting very much pepper at all. Rich. Very, very rich, you guys. But we're having just a hair of technical problems. I'll be right back to finish up my description of this uh, delicious vape. And we're back, you guys. And honestly, this vaporizer... I don't quite want to give it a 9, but the 8 is going to be worth it because it is very, very accurate to its name. It's got a good hearty flavor, but it's not so potent of um, a cheesy experience. There's my ashtray. That it really makes a, um, like an offensive push with that creamy and cheesy experience. It's definitely more so of a lighter, richer... Um, kind of tart experience more so than the rich, heavy, dense, creamy experience that the best strain that I had that experience with was my homegrown cheese strain and the Sapphire OG from Salty God. I'll throw that review up in the corner. You guys go and click on that card if you want to check out a really cheesy strain. They have a seven gram uh, option on the market too. Very good cheesy strain to smoke. This one, a little bit sweeter, a little bit more of a sweet cream experience. Now, with that being said, we've got an Envy straight pipe here, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead, pack it up, and we're gonna take our rips through the uh, raw hemp wick to ignite this first bowl. That allows for the lowest temperature, slowest cherry to build, and usually the milkiest rip coming from our bong, so it's gonna be the closest to that 175, a really slow, even burn. Nice glass gets hit with our clipper lighter. That's going to be a more standard, typical bong rip combination that you guys will uh, be taking yourselves. And then the Red Eye Tech Cyclone Rig gets hit with our jet lighter. That's kind of the um, fanciest or most advanced way to light up our bongers. But with that being said, let's go ahead, pack up this bowl, tilt the camera down so you guys get a real good angle at uh, what we're smoking today because uh, the bong action clips are something I'm enjoying sharing with you guys. So we got it packed. We're going to tilt that sucker down, light up that hemp wick, and get this smoking review up and rocking. Cheers, y'all. Hey guys, so 7 out of 10 is what I'm going to end up scoring this for the taste from the bongs. Now, the first two rips were enjoyable, but they weren't enjoyable enough to counteract the abundance, the overabundance of pepper coming through the Red Eye Tech Cyclone, coming through that third rip. That third rip was a 6. The other two were an 8. But they were just smooth, creamy, very light flavored, a very easy smoke to uh, to have, but with a nice, rich, intense um, experience after the first and the second rip, which is nice, you guys. It's it's definitely really, really beneficial for me when I can uh, 
smoke a bowl and almost immediately feel the effects coming on. That's a huge win when it uh, comes to that, in my opinion. But that being said, the taste from Vongs are going to get a 7 out of 10 because in conjunction, the benefits of the other two don't quite break the uh, that overly peppered experience I found through the Red Eye Tech. Now, the high that came from it, really enjoyable. I'm not saying it's a bad smoke. It's just not my favorite. Now, we're going to go ahead, pack up our Regal Cigar here, and uh, take this for a rip because the sour woodied experience, the sour woodied, the sour wooded experience that this pipe is very well known for it. I'm curious to see how it's going to take on this kind of cheesy peppered um, blend because it really is an opportunity for this pipe to showcase um, some flavors that's going to complement it. But then again, it could also just empower the flavors that we're getting through the pipe and not really have anything that uh, stands alone and makes it um, its own thing. But with that being said, let's light it up all the same and see how it smokes. Hey, y'all. So what I thought would happen, happened. We ended up getting just that really super rich, super intense Regal Cigar flavor. So we got the sour wood comp, um, combined with a really kind of skunky taste. It's nothing overly exciting. It's quite a bit more powerful this time than through a lot of the other strains which it's all right but the fact that it's just a super powerful flavor that the pipe provides it's it's all right it's nothing too super super exciting but it's still enjoyable all the same now with that being said we're uh gonna go ahead and see what the joint has to offer we're going to give it just a little bit of a loosening roll so that the air can flow through it nicely and we can get good long draws. Let's take a couple dry hauls, see what we can experience before we smoke this joint. Kind of a cherry flavor, almost. Kind of rich and creamy cherry. Interesting. Very interesting. Spark. Smoke and score. I'll see you guys on the other side. Hey guys, so taste from a joint is gonna earn itself a nine out of a 10. Honestly, this will be very likely how I uh, smoke the rest of uh, this strain. We are uh, heading out, well, this past weekend, we went out for a rodeo and I recorded this the, the week before. And um, I'm gonna roll this up and uh, have it as a bunch of joints just ready for me because the smoke is really smooth these small ones have a nice heavy hit to them it's a fresh slow burning smoke it's one that if my brother's out there or if uh, the missus wants a little sip it's definitely one that could be shared that way really nice and consistent draw throughout it as well I'm quite impressed with how this ends up smoking overall through the joint and the kind of it starts out with a really creamy light cheesy flavor and then it's finishing off with kind of like a black pepper cracker jack like that kind of sharpness to it all in all really enjoyable smoke and a quite heavy flavor with a light intensity on your lungs i'm uh impressed with the way that one's ended up finishing out especially with the high earning itself at nine out of a ten this is a great mid-afternoon early evening strain where you're just wanting to sit down and get some stuff done like for me i started my day off recording this one hitter read review and as enjoyable as the high is from this strain it doesn't have enough get up and go for me to really utilize it to start my day off now if I were to smoke this after my first walk or second walk of the day, well, more more so the first walk of the day because it still keeps you mentally creative. 
Where the second walk, I lean more to that garlic breath where I want the mental and the physical shutdown. I want, okay, we're ending the day this way. So with that being said, the grilled cheese is a really enjoyable mid-afternoon, early afternoon, evening smoke. You're going to the water park. I would definitely hit this. I'm thinking, I'm like, West Edmonton Wall, water park? Grilled cheese before you go? Hmm. Good. Hi for uh, when you get in there. But uh, for just kind of hanging around and watching movies, it wouldn't be a bad experience at all. This is definitely something that I would recommend for the lighter tolerant smoker because especially when it's at the lower percentage, it hit really nice with a good strong intensity, but it doesn't build to be too incredibly intense. Um, at the higher percentages, I could see it having that potential because after finishing this this entire review, I am at the high where I would really be into going to watch a movie, going to the water park. Like this is where this or a couple of more bowls after this is where that kind of peak high is for me to go out and do uh, some stuff socially where I'm not driving, I'm not doing anything like that. We're just going out and enjoying some time doing stuff. This uh, this is a strain that can build up to that, but I don't think it'll knock you guys on your ass. So lighter tokers will definitely enjoy this. For uh, those of you guys who are looking to get a little bit more medicated um, and a effective, like have a bowl still being able to function, take a look, take a look at this. That's why I like this because it's something I can smoke on, function on, and still go get a lot of shit done on. Now, with that being said, we're gonna wrap this up into a nice, pretty bow and send you guys off with a 46 out of 60 for the overall. It smoked decently all right. It was a uh, a really reasonable experience through the vaporizer. It blew me away through the joint. Oh, excuse me. The bongs were just a little bit disappointing in my opinion, but sometimes you just can't get everything that you want. And uh, last week we got lucky with some really good bong hitting strains. This week, I'm not 100% sure how it's going to wrap itself up. We've still got a couple more reviews on the way. So with uh, tomorrow coming up with our live stream with Kelton, when we dive into some Cerberus of uh, my home grow card up in the corner as well, if you guys want to check that full one hit read out that we uh, one hit a read review out. Jesus. Uploaded that last, last Saturday. Me and Kelton are going to smoke on that this Wednesday, and we're going to have a blast. Thursday, we'll have some Greybeard Live Resin Diamonds that we'll be dropping before we finish things off with the Crypto Chronic number two from the folks over at Sugar Butt. That Mule Fuel. Woo! Let's see what the Crypto Chronic has to say. Up in the corner is going to be on my logo. Hover over that, click that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get notified anytime one of these videos go live. Down below, you guys, we have two videos for you. One's most recommended, the other one's most recently uploaded. Please click on either of those and anything else that I uh, have to offer under that leaf. But for now, cheers, and I will see you in the next one.